Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today we are talking about regret and not just some normal regret no we are talking about billionaires regrets regarding crypto and specifically here this guy thought he should have bought more when he had the chance well more about that in today's video and of course a lot a lot more content but if you're watching this video right now there's a good chance you aren't subscribed to the channel just quite yet make sure you press that little subscribe button if you haven't done so already because you're going to enjoy the content that i provide it's going to be very useful i guarantee you and also make sure you press that like button if you are enjoying the daily crypto news to help out the channel a little bit so i should have bought a lot more bitcoin by hedge fund billionaire mark lassery he basically said that following this entire 2020 bull run performance he now feels as if he should have really bought more when he had the chance he regrets not buying more as the price surge happened a lot quicker than he thought mainly due to institutional investors embracing crypto and widespread adoption by governments and other corporations quote i think the probability as more and more people start using bitcoin is that it's going to keep going up it's happened a lot quicker than I thought it would, and I should have bought a lot more. That was my mistake. And to be honest with you guys, I feel this in a really personal manner. I, I really feel as if when I had the chance to buy Bitcoin at $3,000, when I had the chance to buy XRP below a cent, when I had the chance to buy more VeChain at below half a cent, or I guess close to half a cent, ADA at two cents, and all those coins at some ridiculously cheap prices, that I didn't buy more. Why? Because I had the chance. Now, a lot of you guys most likely got into crypto quite late, and this might be the lowest point that you've ever witnessed. But take it from me and take it from billionaires take it from people all around for example with xrp that it is about layering your buys down you can always have this regret but you'll if, if that's something that's stuck in your head you will have it regardless because even if you just got into crypto now you always have this thought of "Ooh, if only i was there earlier Ooh, if only i blah, 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 blah. that is all hindsight you never know at that point that's something really important to realize that at the moment you do what feels best to you right i could have put more money into it i could have been a lot wealthier than i am now why am i not because at that point this was the best decision for me and i always tell people it is better to put less into your investments than more what i mean with that is better that you risk a little bit less and get less profit than you risk too much and end up losing everything it is worth it guys to have a good strategy and to have peace of mind i would rather miss out on some gains than lose critical money i'd need to buy some food or for my rent or stuff like that get it in your head you can't invest everything especially if you got into a market late or when prices are already inflated like crazy don't have regrets like that think about how you're going to adapt now 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 to buy back cheaper or to buy in in different spots to make the most amount of money at least that is my stance towards all of this if you're gonna say oh i wish i bought cheaper blah blah, blah you're gonna only feel bad about yourself but literally everybody that's ever been involved with crypto has had that thought before and it's not only crypto it's with every single asset or commodity whatever that has gone up in price if only i bought earlier but guys if only you knew that we wouldn't be here having this conversation today if i knew everything i would not make youtube videos because i'd be so freaking a trillionaire that we'd be done right if you knew everything we would never have a conversation so yeah um that's definitely not the case and i'm just gonna say a lot of people most likely are feeling this specifically with xrp right now for example see their money go down they're thinking if only i sold or if only i bought cheaper so i wouldn't have this thing guys once more my personal thought is always to just think about where exactly i'm gonna put my next buys in and i even sometimes put layer orders or limit orders i should say up front in layers so that i can just pick them up without even looking at my computer or looking at my screen so for right now i told you guys before i'm waiting for xp to hit 50 uh sorry guys 65 cents or so to actually pick some up if we don't hit there i'm completely fine but it's kind of my 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 guaranteed that whenever we go down further i can at least get some extra coins to make up for the annoying time spent at the bottom it's just kind of a counter mechanism to make sure i i'm always safe now dark defender on that one specifically said dears i do keep all my targets on xrp some believe some not i respect that xrp will be the new world reserve currency this is for the ones who were patient enough to experience i am confident with the targets we will hit them all i am patient and know myself cheers 
Now, as you guys most likely know by now, I don't like to let loose of those words saying XRP will be or XRP will be that. Specifically, becoming the new world reserve currency, you never really know because you don't know exactly who decides that, nor exactly how that gets put in. Even though you might say that it was designed to be that way, you never know for certain if it's actually going to be and how, or maybe not even in our lifetimes or that type of stuff, right? Then again, I do agree with the with the general message, which is that XRP will be quite great, let's just call it that. Again, an own opinion, not financial advice, and that we should just keep the targets. I firmly believe that if you have a price target, if you have a certain plan, stick to it. 80% of this entire crypto market or stock market or any market like that is within your head. It's a it's a mind game. If you keep control by setting your, your, your numbers, I guess, up front and sticking with them, you're going to come out on top. But 95% of the people can't do that. And it's a really, really crucial part. Now, another one is, of course, are we going to go back into Bitcoin? Are we going to go for... Um, for XRP right now, what's best? Well, I often tell you guys, if prices are going to go down hard, Bitcoin is the unwanted safest. Of course, the safest is the uh, fiat currencies or stable coins, and then the unwanted safest is Bitcoin. Then again, if you've already dipped like we have now, then in you know quite a lot of occasions, it's actually a little bit better to go for coins like XRP because those rebound a lot more significantly. Now, there's another point as to why there's a good chance that Bitcoin is actually going to be beaten by quite a lot of crypto in the future. And also, if you thought from this article here that people are only regretting buying Bitcoin or not buying more Bitcoin, oh my days, have they regretted buy not buying XRP and will they have that regret? I have talked so much on this channel about, oh, buying XRP below 50 cents is a cheap thing, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we were lucky to buy two XRP for a dollar and people laughed at me. Uh, same thing when we were at like 20, 30 cents. I've often stated that, oh, we can buy four XRP for a dollar. That's a steal. And people laughed saying, no, it's going to go dead. It's going to be stupid, blah, blah, blah. Here's a little story. Not sure if it's real, but he says, John Dean, XRP holders everywhere, a funny true story. Once more, I'm not sure if it's real, but it's an interesting one. At a gas station near my law firm at a Bitcoin ATM that was just installed, I was looking at it and the cashier said to me, dude, I wouldn't buy Bitcoin. You should buy XRP because it's the safest bet or the safest best bet of all crypto. Now, that's again where I'm kind of like, is the cashier just going to tell you, yo, dude, you shouldn't buy Bitcoin just because you're looking at that little thing? I mean, that's odd. Then again, it could be, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm not sure if it's real, but if he says it's a real story, let's assume it is. I played dumb and said the following. The safest isn't XRP the one that the SEC filed a case against? The cashier replied, yeah, that's the one. The lawsuit is BS, but it's actually a good thing because when it's over, XRP will be the one cryptocurrency that has certainty, end quote. He said, I responded that the cashier, that he was very astute in his observations and that I was going to seriously look into this XRP token that he was talking about. I was walking out, he yelled, I'm telling you, man, XRP is the way to go. Now, I personally would not believe this at all had I not had a similar type of thing, which was, I've told you guys the story a couple of times now, uh, specifically in live streams, but when I went to the bank, I wanted to open a specific account. He asked me, what do you do, right? And I was just like, well, I, I, I do a couple of things. And one of those things is, you know, on, on, on YouTube, I guess. That's some stuff that I do as well. And he said, oh, all right, what, what type of stuff? You know, and I told him. And he said, oh, I, I know you. Yeah, yeah, you. Oh, no, I don't. No, that's a different guy. No, he didn't tell me. Uh, he knew me. He, we talked about crypto because I, I said I covered crypto. He said, yeah, no, I'm into crypto, but I'm only into XRP. I was like, oh, what's that one again then? And he, he, he went on to explain um, cause I'm not exactly hundred percent sure how this conversation went anymore, but it's something along those lines where he started to explain XRP to me and explain why XRP was so good because I asked him like, Oh, what do you think about it then? And, and so forth and so on. Um, I know for a fact that this guy did not know me, but he did maybe say like, Oh, I've seen you around because otherwise I wouldn't have asked him about XRP. But then again, it could also be that I, uh, that we both concluded that I knew about XRP, but then he explained his opinion. I'm not exactly sure how that one went, but you guys get the drift, right? Where, a random banker that I talked about didn't hold any crypto except for XRP that he was extremely bullish about. I told him, man, get a couple of other cryptos, get a little bag. He said, nah, XRP is really my thing. I was like, okay, oh, interesting. So from that perspective, I do believe the story because it does happen. And XRP does have a community of people you would never expect. They're left, right, left, right. It's pretty funny if you were to ask me. Uh, then there's something else. Arthur Portilla posted on Twitter, uh, kind of a whole thread here. It's been a little, uh, it's been a little thing. Now, <laughs> I don't know where exactly we should start as there's a, a big law, law thread here, which we'll talk about later. I, I guess we'll just cover that in depth. But 
Arthur basically said, Yet the whole US crypto industry chooses to act as if the case was only relevant to defendants. The SEC itself is now acknowledging how an unfavorable verdict could harm the, their oversight across the industry. What else do we need to understand the relevance of this case? The court should avoid setting precedents with such far-reaching consequences, as SEC official said. According to the regulator, in the event of a loss, future defendants will be able to refer to the decision in the Ripple case. Yes, please. Let's see. The court should follow the law by John Deaton on behalf of Vixen Beholders. And Jeremy said, ouch, I'm going to hire you if you ever, uh, if I ever need a lawyer. Now, what this kind of comes down to is that the SEC is suing Ripple. And one of the things which they're basically claiming is that uh, whatever they're doing here is right, right? But on the other end of things, they're also claiming that what they're doing is not going to have that dire consequences except for Ripple. Uh, they're not going to hurt XRP investors, obviously, because, well, they're trying to protect them. Then again, they've also admitted that if they go through with this case, then in some way, shape, or form, it could actually hurt the market or hurt their uh, their chances to regulate it properly, but it could also hurt the current cryptocurrency projects that are out there because of some verdict that they make right now. It's just a really strange situation, but I'm personally really convinced still that what the SEC is doing here is, is not right. XRP lawsuit, is the SEC triply wrong about its latest filing? Now, I'm not exactly sure if they're ever wrong about things. All I can say is that they are doing some stuff in a really strange manner that nobody can really understand. Even the SEC, I don't think, knows exactly what they're doing or what they're getting at. They're still trying it anyway, though, because that's how the SEC operates, we, I guess, noticed. They just go with the flow uh, of whatever they started, even though there's not too much of a backing behind there. And they just try to extend, try to search, try to find even though there's nothing to be found. Now, is VeChain a good investment in June? I know it's really off topic, but it's funny. I, I actually just recorded a VeChain video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it after this one or before this one, as it is about the price, I should post it before, but since I, I kinda wanna post this one first, I might delay it a little bit. Uh, let me quickly tell you guys once more. VeChain is literally one of my favorite cryptocurrencies out there because it's got proven use case. If you don't know anything about VeChain, my personal thought is that it's a smart idea to look it up. And again, not advice, you do whatever the frick you want, but. It's a juicy ass crypto. You know, those those government connections with China are definitely something else on a completely different level. And it's definitely something to think about. So I just wanted to put a little ball up for you right there. Then again, billionaires will also know not having crypto. I personally think XRP is one of the best ones out there because of the risk to reward, but not buying crypto is a mistake. Um, that will always keep happening though. Like for, for, for example, right now, people will have that same thing in a couple of weeks when crypto is back up or in a couple of months, people have that same thing. Like, oh, I wish I bought that dip. Oh, I wish I bought back then. It's all in hindsight. I know, I know, I know, but people will always keep having it. So have that in the back of your head. And then El Salvador is becoming a pretty nice paradise right now. El Salvador president says, no capital gains tax on Bitcoin and permanent, re permanent residence for crypto entrepreneurs. I think that was a uh, Definitely pretty interesting how that one is uh, evolving, but I guess they want to become a, a, a more higher up country, El Salvador, putting themselves on the map. Pretty cool. All right, guys, that was for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the subscribe button. Like half of you guys, if not more, are not subscribed to the channel. Make sure you press that button right now to noti be notified every time I upload something new. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video.